Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully designed our all type. So right now, we successfully get our sidebar, header, and footer. And right now, we don't have any data, but I want to do, I want to display all the data. So if you want to display it here, if you go to our backend theme, like if you go to our course exercise folder, that is our backend theme. I want to take some of the table. If you open with the Chromey right now, and into this area, they have one of the table. You can see there are the two type of table. One is the basic table, and another is the data table. So if you go to the basic table, so that will be actually our basic table. Okay, so that is a different type of design in here. And also there is another table as a data table. So if you go to the data table, see into the data table, they have some of the extra features you, you can actually get. like. That, that will be one of the default, you can see designation. Here you don't need to work for the designation data table automatically will be supported that designation. After the 10 posts, it, um, that will be automatically display. You can display the show as a two, 10, as a 30, then that will be display as a 30 post, you can see. And also you can search it by the name if you search automatically, you can see it will be get this data. So it's actually provided a lot of things in here. So I want to do, I want to load this type of one of the data table. So if you want to load this data table, that is one of in which place in our main pages, in our tab, that is a tables and that is our data table.html. Right, first of all, I want to go there. If you go to the pages and then the tables, and then that is our data table. Okay, now I want to open with the sublink text, then that will be better. And from here, we don't need any sidebar. Okay, I simply remove that sidebar. That is our footer part here. We also don't need it. We only need that our table right here. That is also another neighbor. I want to minimize it. There is a page content, right? You can see from to the page content because every pages I have actually take it. If you go to our index page, you can see I have take everything from to the page content, right? Now that is actually our EL part. So from here also I want to do to minimize our page content. I select it. That is Debbie Zandet, and also you don't need footer. I copy it because here I have already loaded our admin dashboard. So into the section EL part area, I want to paste it. Okay, now if you click as a save all, and now if you go, that should be display all that already static data. If you now refresh it, yes, you can see it successfully loaded all that our data. But that is one of the issue here. You can see our data table not executed. It's now actually get all the things. It's because of all for the data table. They have some of the specific JS file. They have some of the CSS file. Then that will be actually display that things like that way here. That should be displayed as a show icon, one of the search box, and designation also should be executed. Okay. Now here that should be like that. So if you want to execute it here, if you go again to our data table.html, if you go, and that should be some of the um, CSS. You can see they have some of the CSS as a data table CSS. So I want to don't take this CSS and I want to add it in our which place. Everything in our admin theme. I have already added everything in our admin dashboard, right? So into the admin dashboard, um, like after before our code, I want to turn to load our this data table. So data table, if you want to load here also, you have to now update our asset. So now that will be as an asset. And after that asset, that will be as a backend, right into the backend area, I have already added that our asset, better I copy it because that will be also needed. I copy it and now here I want to take it. Okay, great. So now only we have to do we have to take our asset folder, I simply cut this asset folder and here I want to paste it. Great. So right now we don't need it. Perfect. And also again, if you go, there have also should be some of the JS file. If you go for the data table, you can see there is a data table.js that will be needed. And also there is a data table net and data table JS. So they have some of the file that will be needed. But I would to also take it. I copy it. Now in our admin dashboard area, in our Hmm, that is all that our JS file right here also now I want to done to take it I paste it and also there is another one as a data table dot JS also I want to copy it and here in our admin dashboard after that I paste it okay great great so now we have to do that I also want to add some of the note for you okay then that will be actually better I cut it and then here that will be the and data table okay I make it as an and data table and that will be the start data table okay start 
data table great now also we have to update that our asset so now that will be asset back in i copy it now that will lie here i select it select it select it and paste it and now that will be as asset data table js i cut it and here i paste it also there is another one i cut it here i paste it also i cut it and then i paste it okay right now we don't need it i want to remove it that is also another one also that is another one good now that should be working let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go in here i want to done to refresh it yes you can see it's now successfully working now that is a show icon is working that is a search amount the search is also successfully working and also designation is working so data table is very very much helpful one of the things so now i want to do i want to update it if you want to update if you know right now we don't need our data table html i hope you get that point some of the css and jss will be needed right now they have the so many a uh, demo data i want to remove it because here that should be display only our particular database data right so i simply take only one tier and rest of this i simply remove it from to this position now that should be only three field enough one will be as a serial number i want to visible i want to visible that um, property type name or better i use it as a type name the okay, type name and type icon type icon and then action okay for edit and update so i want to use that as action so that will be the action great so that's all now i want to remove both of this and also if you go to our property type here i have already get all that our property from to the property type table i take it by this variable and here i pass it in with the compact method in our all type page now here that is actually our tier right now in particular that position i want to do i want to simply take one of the for each loop so that will be the for each and then i want to do and to end this for each after the tier so that will be as a and for each right great so i have take the things with this variable as a type and i make the type as okay I make it as a, as i want to take another key because i want to display also the serial number so that will be by this i want to access that item okay so that means type as item so now by this item we can actually display everything first of all i want to display our serial number serial number will be the simply with the key that will be as a plus one okay so that will be our serial number after that i want to do i want to display our another field by this item now i want to display our another field name our field name if you go that is a property name right so that is a property type name so that will be as a type name and also that should be another one i want to simply take it that should be another one and that will be our icon icon or field name as a type icon okay so i simply added that type icon great and then that will be one of the action that means with two of these things i want to load one will be as a hmm, better i want to take it in here as a for the edit and update so i take one of the a head if a head if area here i want to put on the class class will be like if you go if you go to here there is also some of the ui kit and from to this position if you go to the buttons they have the different type of buttons you can actually use this type of one of the buttons rather than you can also use it that is also very lucrative right that is also very lucrative better i want to use this one <laughs> that is actually lucrative so now for the edit i want to access i added that warning so that will be actually a button one of the type class as a warning i copy it and now here i paste it okay great so now that will be our edit and then i want to take another one and i paste it so that will be for the delect okay so i make it as a delect delete and delete will be i want to take another class as a danger so that will be as a danger okay so i want to simply take it now that will be as a danger great so friend that's all we have to do okay right now i don't have any data that should be not display like right now first of all i want to check it like as a save all if you now go i want to refresh it now that should be clean you can see they have no data available in table because of all here it is totally empty right now and also i want to update that our design like here that should be we don't need this be a paragraph here i want to do and to make it as a um, that will be as a property property type okay property type all 
now click the save all and also they have one of the um, table and also there is another ali here you can also create another new button then that will be actually better right now i remove that ali and into this oval area i want to load another button okay button for the button i want to use uh, like as a which one i want to use that info okay info type of class i want to actually use so if you want to use it first of all better i copy it and then in our ol area i want to paste it because here also now we have to actually add it now that will be the add property property type okay so that is one of the button and here i want to do and to use one of the class as info class okay so now that should be locative so that will be the info great now if you click as a save all now if you go now i want to refresh it now that should be one of the button yeah you can see it's now successfully displayed on the button as a add property type so right now friend i don't have any data so you know next video i want to complete our add property type okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video